Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, I was going to go over a scanner, the Thinkorswim scanner here, and specifically standard deviation channel scans. Uh, what you see here is a handful of the filters that I've put into place to find the some of the things that I'm looking for. Um, right here, you want to basically add filter. Right here you want to add filter and then you can choose stock option fundamental study and pattern and then in those you have multiple choices to choose from right uh, with these particular ones uh, as far as my standard deviation scanner um, i chose stock twice you know last price was five bucks or higher market cap was 400 million or higher this is done in the millions, as you can see here, S S M or money symbol M. Um, I also input the option choice of implied volatility. And for me specifically, I'm option I'm looking to option sell some positions. So I want the, the implied volatility to be above 50%. Um, and uh, frankly, I think for me, it's better to even go potentially higher to say 65%. Um, and, and as we all know, there's a range which is calculated via IV rank. Um, and implied volatility, it's, it's not going to necessarily represent um, a high implied volatility at 65. You know, for example, Tesla at 65 IV is actually a 10% rank, which is really low. So this isn't very representative, but a majority of the things that have been out there for a while are going to have um, not extremely high implied volatility numbers. So with that being said, this is just something that I added in there to kind of weed out the really low stuff. Okay, and then finally there's the study here of standard deviation channels, right? And the close is greater than a two standard deviation in a 60-day period. Right, and then over here I got the D, right? D for day. And then I hit scan, and I've already scanned it. it. Sometimes it takes a little while. This took about 30 or 45 seconds to show up. Um, once I've done that, then I go to this little button right here, and I can save the scan query, right? And what that does is, when you save this the, the scan query, it now becomes part of your personal watch list, right? And here it is. I've already got it pulled up. It's this one right here with the little green check mark. All right, so what this normally does is I'm going to go to the 60 day chart and it's going to show me everything above the second standard deviation channel, which is the green one, right? It can show me things that are at the third, but it's always going to show me everything above the second. So I'm just going to quickly scan through all of these so you can see how each one of these stocks is going to pop up here. Right? Uh, so I'm just going to quickly go through here so you guys can see. Everything's above the green or touching it. Right, that's the key here. And you got to make sure that whenever you're doing a scanner like this, if you have a specific time frame, in the scanner, you need to make sure that you've got it selected on your chart. That way, whenever you look through your stuff, you can see everything that falls into that category. And as you can tell here, everything does. All right, so this is a really good tool. The TOS scanner is really powerful if you know how to manipulate it properly. All right, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again to the, on the next video and I will continue making more. Thank you.